Hello there, Kids Church. It's Miss Amy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We aren't meeting in person this week due to the New Year's holiday, so thanks for joining me online instead. Today, we're going to push past Jesus' birth story. We're going to push past when Jesus was visited by three wise men, and we're going to look at the next story in the Bible of when Jesus moved from his hometown. So join me for a story and some scripture reading from the Bible as we learn about this important part of Jesus's life. But first, let's do this. It's time now for our opening prayer, the Johnny Appleseed song. So have your big singing voices and follow me as we sing this prayer together. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, like the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord's been good to me. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Let's jump right into our story for today. It's called Far From Home, a story of loss, refuge, and hope by Sarah Parker Rubio, illustrated by Fatina Anya. This used to be my room. My bed was right here with my blanket and my pillow and rabbit. I was sleeping here in my bed when I woke up in the middle of the night and heard grown-ups talking. We need to go to a new country, they said. It's not safe here anymore. Wake up, Daddy said. We have something to tell you. I pretended I was still sleeping. I know you're awake, Mama said. I can never fool her. I opened one eye. Mama and Daddy tried to smile. I don't think I want to hear what you're going to say, I said. I was right. We have to leave home, Daddy said. For how long? I asked. A long time, Mama said. Maybe forever. Are Grandma and Grandpa and all my friends coming? I asked. Not now, Daddy said. Maybe later. Mama and Daddy tried to tell me why, but nothing they said made any sense. These used to be my toys. Cars and planes and my helicopter, elephant and lion and bear, and of course rabbit. You can only take one toy, Mama said. Choose your favorite. They were all my favorites. I chose rabbit because I have had him the longest. We have to go right now, Mama said. Hurry. I hurried so fast, I almost forgot Rabbit. We walked for a long time. Then we got on a bus. Then we walked some more. It's an adventure, Daddy said. I didn't want an adventure. I wanted to go home. Don't worry, Dad said. Soon we'll be in a new country. You'll have a new room, new toys, new friends. I wanted my old room. I wanted my old toys. I wanted my old friends. After the buses and the walking, there was waiting, and then more waiting, and then even more waiting. Why did we have to hurry if we're just going to wait? I said. Please don't whine, Mama said. So I zipped my mouth up tight and shoved all the whining down into my tummy, even though it made my tummy hurt. But the whining didn't want to stay down. It got bigger and bigger 
until I was so big I couldn't keep it down anymore. No more waiting! Then everyone looked at me. There was nowhere to hide, so I just hid my face in Rabbit's tummy. Somebody touched me on the shoulder. I didn't want to take my face out of Rabbit's tummy, but the somebody kept touching my shoulder, so finally I did. That somebody was an older lady. Her face had millions of wrinkles, but she was smiling so big that even her wrinkles looked happy. Do you want to hear a story? The old lady asked. I don't want a story. I wanted to go home, but Mama was watching, so I said, yes, please. Good, the older lady said. This is one of my favorite stories. A long, long time ago, there was a little boy like you. Did he have a rabbit? I asked. I don't know, the older lady said. If he did, it probably wasn't as nice as yours. I thought that was probably true. The little boy was sleeping in his bed when suddenly his mama woke him up. I held rabbit tight. Mama's waking you up in the middle of the night is bad news. The boy's mama said that they had to leave their home for a long time, maybe forever. His mama and daddy tried to tell him why, but nothing they said made any sense. The boy had to leave most of his toys. He and his mama and daddy had to wait for a long time. Finally, the boy got to his new home, but it was strange. His room was different. The food was different. The people were different. What happened to the boy, I asked. The older lady smiled. He learned how to live in a new place, and another new place after that. He grew up and helped many people. He could heal people when medicine didn't work. He could feed a crowd with one person's lunch. He saved a lot of people's lives. She put her hand on my shoulder again. But he never forgot what it was like, the leaving and the waiting and the different. I leaned back against Mama and hugged Rabbit tight. Mama stroked my hair. Is that a true story? I asked the older lady. The older lady smiled her best smile yet. Oh, yes, she said. It's one of the truest stories in the world. This is my room now. My new bed is right here with my new blanket and pillow. Same old rabbit. The food here is different. The weather is different. The people are different, but I think I will find new friends here. Sometimes I miss my old home, but when I feel sad, I remember the story the older lady told me, and I remember that I am not alone. The end. You might have guessed by now, but the little boy in that story that the older woman told was about Jesus, and that's because Jesus was a refugee. A refugee is a pretty unique word. Have you ever heard it before? The term refugee refers to a person that is being forced to leave where they live in order to seek safety from war, from harm, or from a natural disaster. December 25th is the time that Christians observe Jesus' birth. Jesus might not have been born on December 25th, but that's the day Christians choose to celebrate it. Then, almost 12 days later, 13 in exact, Christians celebrate another special occasion in the Christian calendar called Epiphany 
And that's where we Christians observe the arrival of the wise men who worshiped Jesus for the first time and gave him three presents, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The next part of Jesus's life is where he becomes a refugee and he and his family escape to Egypt. Yes, that Egypt with those big pyramids. The story that we read earlier, Far From Home, talked a little about Jesus being a refugee. But why don't we go to the original source and read it for ourselves? That's right, we're going to find this story right in the Bible. So pause the video if you need to go get your Bible so we can read it together. Let's be reminded that there are 66 books that make up the library of the Bible. The story of Jesus and his family being refugees comes from the book of Matthew, which happens to be the first book of the New Testament. Remember, the Old Testament is all of God's family before Jesus was born, and the New Testament is Jesus and beyond. Let's read it now. Join me at the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 through 15. Here is the word of the Lord. Jesus' family escapes to Egypt. Verse 13, when the wise men had left, Joseph had a dream. In the dream, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. Get up, the angel said. Take the child, Jesus, and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you to come back. King Herod is going to search for the child. He wants to kill him. So Joseph got up. During the night, he left for Egypt with the child, Jesus, and his mother, Mary. They stayed there until King Herod died. So the words of the Lord had spoken through the prophet came true. He said, I brought my son, Jesus, out of Egypt. Here is the word of the Lord, and you respond with me. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining me, Kids Church, for our online edition this week. I wish you and pray that you have a wonderful and blessed new year. I look forward to seeing you in person next week. Let's close like we always do, saying Jesus' prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you next time, Kids Church. Jesus loves you.